Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. Again, my name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about Psycho Branch Templates. Now, we've already heard of data definition templates that allow us to define fields and other details about content items. What branch templates allow us to do is to define content structures. Here's what I mean by that. Imagine if we had to build a website for a large company. That company contained a list of departments and each department had to have their own space on that website. The company required each department to have an about us page, a contact us page, and a members page. The rest of the pages under the department space were up to the department and could be department specific. But those first three were required by the company. Now imagine the steps would have to go through to create a new department. So as a content author, you'd have to log in and create a department item from uh, perhaps a department template, right? An about us sub page, so a, a child page of the department from perhaps an about us page template and then members from the members page template and then contact us from the contact us page template. See, the point here is that you'd have to create each sub page individually and manually. And this is a very simple use case. Imagine if the department structure was much more complex with many more layers and many more templates. So this creates a lot more room for error. Well, branch templates to the rescue. So what branch uh, templates allow us to do is to define content structures, like I said. So in our scenario, if we could create a branch template for a department, all we'd have to do is insert a new department based on that branch template, and all the subpages de defined in that branch template would be created automatically for us. Isn't that cool? So let's take a look at how we can set one up. Let's go ahead and log into Sitecore, and again, it's a... Uh, default empty Sitecore install. What I'll do is, uh, so instead of going to the templates, we'll go to templates branches now. And remember, if you're in a multi-site Sitecore instance, create a uh, site-specific folder here. For the sake of the demo, I'll create it directly under user defined. And I'll base our branch template on the sample item. Now this is actually important to note the item that you select while creating the branch template, this is the item that will be used as the parent item or the root item for the structure we're about to define. And also, this is the name that Sitecore will give to the branch template automatically. The name of, the same name as the template we'll select here. So in a real world scenario, that would be a department template that we would pick as the root item. So our branch template would also be named department. Since this is a demo and we use a sample item, we'll go ahead and uh, rename it to a department branch template. And note how the root, note how the root I item is the branch definition item, and the child of that is the template that will be used to create the department item. So what we'll do next is create the required pages. As we said, we'll need an about us page. We'll need a contact us page, and we'll need a members page. Okay, and let's let's actually go ahead and give it a better looking, more meaningful icon. There we go. And next step is to set this uh, branch template as one of the default insert options for our homepage. Now I had already modified the insert options on the home item in the past for one of the previous demos. So modifying it on the standard um, values of the home page template, which is the recommended practice, as mentioned in one of my previous videos, would not actually affect the item because the inheritance is lost. So for the sake of the demo, I'll go ahead and do it directly on the home item. So we'll click home, go to sign, and find our newly created branch template. Here it is. Drag it over to the right side and hit OK. Now when we right click on the home item, go to insert, we now see department as one of the valid options. And let's see what happens when we create one. Let's go to accounting, hit OK, and boom, we have all those mandatory pages created automatically for us, just like defined in the branch template structure. Now, 
One thing worth noting here is the name token. Psychor comes with a default set of tokens, name, parent, date, something we'll cover in a different episode. However, what I'd like to mention here is that these tokens become very powerful in the branch template world. To give you a, an example is in one of my past projects for a client, I use branch templates to create entire websites, create structures for entire websites. The client had uh, their own clients which would sign up for a subscription and with each subscription they would receive a website. So whenever they got a new client, the, uh, the content author would come in, right click, insert the entire website, it would get prompted for a series of d different variables which were the tokens, that, the custom tokens that we defined for the, uh, the branch template, for the side branch template. Once they filled out the fields and hit OK, the entire website was created in just a second. Isn't that cool? So think about that and keep the tokens, uh, Cycro tokens in mind when working with branch templates. They make them that much more powerful. So hopefully you'll find this video helpful and uh, if you liked it, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, put comments below. For more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com and again, my name is Vasily Fomachev and I am a Cycro Technology MVP. And until then, I will see you next Friday. Over and out.